Well, good afternoon and welcome. I certainly want to thank everybody uh, for joining us for today's event. With Windows 8, we did not want to leave any seam uncovered. Much like Windows 1.0 needed the mouse to complete the experience, we wanted to give Windows 8 its own companion hardware innovation. What is this innovation? It's something new. It's something different. It's a whole new family of computing devices from Microsoft. Microsoft Surface. It embodies the notion of hardware and software really pushing each other. People do want to create and consume. They want to work and they want to play. They want to be on their couch, they want to be at their desk, and they want to be on the go. Surface fulfills that dream. It is a tool to surface your passion, to surface your ideas, to surface your creativity, and to surface your enjoyment. Just as we've reimagined Windows, we also have a vision for reimagining the tablet. We see a tablet that is designed the way that Windows has been designed. We see a tablet that represents a unique vision for the seamless expression of entertainment and creativity. A tablet that works and plays the way that you want to. A tablet that's a great PC. A PC that's a great tablet. A new type of computing, Surface. Surface is a stage for Windows. Surface is designed for the software experience to, take it, to have it take center stage. Surface is super thin at 9.3 millimeters. It's just thin enough for this full-size USB port, for peripherals or just charging your phone while you're at the hotel. The edges are beveled away at 22 degrees, so the PC itself fades into the background. It feels natural in your hands. Surface is the first PC with a full magnesium case. Through a unique process, the liquid metal is formed into an ultra-rigid, yet ultra-light frame. It is incredibly and strong, yet it's airy. At under 1.5 pounds, just 676 grams, and it's finely balanced. You know, we didn't stop there. The case is one of a kind. It's a, made from a physical vapor deposition process. It results in a permanent scratch and wear resistance surface. This vapor mag case is a first of a kind, and it accentuates the unique feel of Surface. Surface is, of course, great for entertainment. It has access to all of the Windows apps for music, for video, for Xbox, and gaming. Surface works great for entertainment as well. In fact, I'm going to show here for the first time a very exciting new application. This is the Netflix application, designed specifically for Windows 8. Now, with the widescreen, you get 30% more viewing area and no banding or letterboxing like you traditionally see. I'm happy to show this new Netflix application, give you an early look how it's designed specifically for Windows 8 with semantic zoom. And Netflix will have this ready at the Windows 8 launch. I can go here and start a movie and see it stream straight to my Surface PC, just like you would expect. Now, to stream so well, Surface needs great Wi-Fi. Surface is the first tablet to in incorporate dual 2x2 two two MIMO antennas. That means it provides the very best Wi-Fi reception of any tablet today. Surface is incredibly great for a Windows for entertainment PC. And you know, we're just getting started. Today, when you have your tablet and you want to be entertained, you have to hold it. 
You're always sitting in an awkward position, or perhaps you have to choose from a seemingly endless variety of add-on stands and cases that solve a relatively simple problem, but by adding weight, adding thickness. What if I just want to watch movie or listen to music and do something else? We think that this should be an integral part of the design. We think that a stand should be integral. So we built a stand into the device. This stand is made of the same vapor mag as the rest of the case, and it's completely integrated into the device. The hinge design is like that of the finest luxury car. And when not in use, it just fades away. No extra weight, no extra thickness, no separate add-on. It's integrated, just like the software and the hardware are integrated into Surface. And then once you have this kickstand, you can sit back and enjoy a truly hands-free experience. You know, you could go and just put the, put the Surface on a table, lay back and watch a movie. And that's really what entertainment should be about with a Surface. But you know, Surface is, is designed to be mobile. We designed Surface to be rugged and, and, and move around, but with Vapor Mag and Corning Gorilla Glass 2.0, you do not need to worry at all. But we know many people prefer to have some sort of cover, a cover that helps to just act like an easy on-off switch at least. So Surface has a cover. We designed the cover to be an integral element of the PC. We built a magnetic connector into the device to hold it very securely. So let me attach the cover. Click. You heard that. It's solid. Click. Close the cover. It's integrated into the device. It's made from a fine Northwest Polar Tech. It feels great in your hand, like a book. It just fits there. And when we looked at the whole surface on the cover, we challenged ourselves to do more. This cover is just three millimeters. Combined with surface, they're, over just, they're just over 12 millimeters. That's less than half an inch. And we said, why not do something with this surface? Why shouldn't we just take this surface and make it a full multi-touch keyboard? <laughs> this touch cover is not just a full multi-touch keyboard, but it's a modern trackpad with left and right buttons. It even has the keys for the Windows 8 Metro style UI. This keyboard combined with the kickstand formed a hallmark of just hands-on creativity. On average, typing is twice as efficient as typing on glass, and it's certainly more comfortable. Now, of course, the innovative on-screen keyboard in Windows is still there, and you can mix and match. The choice is really gonna be yours. Just put them on the table, and you've got a great stand. Let me go over here and show you a different surface. This surface is connected to external HDMI. That's built into the device. I'm going to go here, and now I've got, surf I've got the touch cover connected. Now, with front and rear-facing cameras on this device, I can record a video. So I'm going to start the camera application. So now I can go here, and, and I could tilt this around and angle it so I could see it. This camera is angled at 22 degrees. By angling it at 22 degrees, everybody at the table, their head is perfectly framed into the picture. Or when I'm sitting at the seat, I can do a Skype call, and I'm perfectly framed. But this device also has Windows on it, or Office on it. So I go into the desktop, and I see, here's Word running. Now what's really neat is I could also have, using the multitasking capabilities, I could dock the, the camera app there, and now I can record a video or an interview and take notes. I could record myself and read from my notes. And that integration is really cool. In fact, I could even use the USB port and plug in an external speaker and, and microphone even though it has dual array mics and dual speakers built in, and I can get super high quality recording. And so that's a quick look at, at, at Surface. Now there's so much more to show you today. Now imagine, if you will, that we took all of those capabilities of Surface and we built them so that you could, you could use all the applications that you're familiar with. You could use Photoshop or you could use other applications. Those applications would be built using the latest of the Intel Core processor. Now that in addition to the Surface that we're releasing today for Windows RT, we also have a Surface that's designed with these latest Intel processors. So in addition to working on the NVIDIA ARM processor, we're also working with, on a Surface 
for Windows 8 Professional. I am proud to introduce you to another member of the Surface family. This is Surface for Windows 8 Pro. The Windows ecosystem has always been about choice. And for the millions of professional desktop users out there, people who use their PC every day to design and to create things, this is a great choice for you. It shares the same design principles that Stephen was talking about. It's a stage for Windows. It shows the same pride and craftsmanship. It's less than two pounds and less than 14 millimeters. It's a full PC. Now this also has a clear type display. Stephen's PC had a clear type HD. This is a clear type full HD display. And what that means is three things. It's a combination of a very specific pixel geometry, rendering, and an optical bonding process that together create the effect that your eye can't distinguish between the individual pixels at normal viewing distances. In this case, at 17 inches, less than arm's length. This clear type display also reduces Z height and conserves battery power. It has some of the other high performance features you saw too. It's got that two by two antenna technology. This is a first in tablets. It has dual high performance antennas and receivers so that you get the best Wi-Fi performance possible no matter how you hold it. It also has a chassis that's built out of that same durable and elegant vapor mag that enables features like the 0.7 millimeter thin kickstand, less than a millimeter. It's got the same compatible accessory spine that Steven had. So if you take a touch cover like he had, it just clicks in. It clicks in the same. It has that same designed in feeling because the entire Surface family of products was designed together. Even close like this, this is still less than 17 millimeters. This PC has specs that rival those of the finest Ultrabooks that have ever been announced. And it delivers the power and the flexibility that you would expect of a high-end PC. This PC is powered by Intel's third-generation Core i5 processor, the Ivy Bridge processor. This is their 22 nanometer process that results in a CPU that's faster, a GPU that has double the 3D graphics throughput, all while using less power than today's Core i5s. But with that power comes a unique design challenge. How do you design a PC that you might be holding in any different way or have a cover in the front and the back to integrate active cooling? There's no obvious place to put a vent. So here's our solution. This is called perimeter venting. You see this groove that goes all the way around the outside of the case? And there's a good shot of it up on the screen. This allows air to be uniformly distributed across the entire PC when necessary in a way that you never block it with your hands. In fact, you never even feel it, which makes the PC really comfortable to hold, which is really helpful when doing things like flipping back your keyboard and taking notes with digital ink. Surface for Windows 8 Pro supports digital inking. Windows apps um, of all kinds can support inking. So here what I've done is I can go back to the desktop and show you what I launched. I launched the Windows Reader. And this is a PDF file of one of Stephen's blog posts. So you can see I can pan and zoom. What I can really do here is I can come and I could do ink. I'm going to come and say this is great. Now, what you'll notice when I ink and I zoom in, as I zoom in, that ink stays smooth. That's because it's being sampled at 600 DPI. That's sub-pixel accuracy for ink. What that does is it keeps your handwriting very smooth and uh, hopefully yours is a little better than mine. One of the neat things about this too is as I'm inking, from here I can see the tip of the pen almost feels like it's writing exactly on the screen. Since the screen is optically bonded, we've eliminated the layers in between the thin cover glass and the screen, so it feels like you're inking right on the page. The distance between the stylus and where I see the ink is only 0.7 millimeters. That's the thinnest and closest distance of any tablet PC, any inking tablet ever. Now, one of the other things that's going on here is as I'm moving my hand, you see the page is not moving underneath my hand. That's because Windows has palm block technology. This Surface has two digitizers. It has one for touch and a separate one for digital ink. And what happens is, is when I bring the pen close to the screen, Windows sees the proximity of the pen and stops taking touch input so my hand doesn't mess up what I'm writing. 
And when I'm done with the pen, you can see the little magnetic charging connector there. It just clicks in. So that's one of the, the cool things on Surface for Windows 8 Pro and in inking. I got one. <laughs> Thanks. The apps that I'm showing you, they look really great in the native resolution of the screen, the 1080 resolution. But if you want to unlock the highest possible resolutions that Ivy Bridge supports, even higher resolutions that are possible um, via HDMI out, we have DisplayPort. So now with DisplayPort, I can take this PC, I can dock it, and I basically have a full professional workstation with the power of a desktop PC. I have one here that's plugged in and synced up to the show monitor. And this kind of a PC is powerful enough to run big applications, applications like Photoshop, Autodesk, SolidWorks, enterprise applications that require a TPM chip. In this case, I'm going to copy some high-res photos onto the PC and edit them in Adobe's Lightroom. So I'm copying onto the desktop. And what you'll see here, this is a five-second copy. That's a whole gigabyte. That's a whole gigabyte of pictures that just copied in five seconds. Service has support for really fast USB 3.0 and the new USB super speed drives. A gigabyte file copy in five seconds is five times faster than USB 2.0, which, which makes sense with this PC because you'll be using it to do big jobs, whether you're editing big photos like this um, or you're dealing with big video files or you're doing, you know, in Stephen's case, a big job might be typing a super long blog post that you may have read. Service is up for the task. Now, let's say you are, in fact, doing one of those um, big typing jobs. You've seen already, Stephen talked a little bit about touch cover and the improvements it makes for typing. But let's say you're a really fast touch typist, or maybe you just prefer the feel of tactile keys. Well, we've got another Surface choice for you. This is Surface Type Cover. It shares the same full pitch layout as touch cover, but what we've done is we've taken a key switch that has a one and a half millimeter travel, and we've built it into the thinnest possible package. So you can touch type on the, I can touch type on this as fast as I can touch type on any keyboard. Fully compatible with Windows, you see the shortcut keys here. It has a full modern trackpad with clicking buttons, and this completes the Surface family of products. I am uh, unbelievably humbled right now and, and flattered to be up here. And, but truthfully, I'm, rep I'm recognizing an entire team that's back in Redmond right now waiting to see your blog posts uh, to see what you have to say. We, we have a team full of designers, uh, development engineers, manufacturing engineers, uh, hardware testers, uh, all working on these products right now as we speak. Let me start by doing that to just give you a quick preview of what you might see backstage in just a few minutes. You heard Stephen and Mike both say it. This was built as a stage for Windows 8. That was part of our core vision for the product. It was very important for us that we had the hardware fade to the background for this product. It was important so the Windows software could rise to the surface. It gives you the best experience possible when the hardware fades away and what comes to the surface is that entertainment piece you want when you're using the device. Note the chamfered, ankles on, chamf chamfered angles on the side of this product. These are chamfered at 22 degrees. That's two things. One, it's a physical manifestation of the actual stage itself. You can see as it falls away, just as we intended for the hardware to do. But two, it actually sits perfectly comfortable in your hands. Now let me qualify something. I say perfectly a lot. I say perfect a lot. As part of our team culture, what was really important for us is we had so many parts of the design that had to be in detail and be simple and be right that we always strive for perfect perfection on every subcomponent of this product. It includes this chamfered angle. What it does is sits in your hand very comfortably in a way that when you hold it, it feels light, it feels airy. Most importantly, you can use it all day in comfort. It's really important when you talk about the hardware fading to the background that the hardware is not in your way to accomplish what you wanted to do. It's meant to move you forward, which we think this product does. Putting this kickstand in the product flies right in the face of seamless lines and getting it perfect. But we really spent a lot of time here. We knew that if we did not get the kickstand perfect, this device would not work. We could not take any chances. Take a look at the three hinges that you see within this device. 
This is a really simple example of the details of the product. These are three custom-made hinges. Mind you, there are over 200 custom parts built from the inside out of this product to make it come to life. But these hinges, they were spec just as Stephen told you. They were spec to feel and sound like a high-end car door. When you close the device, the kickstand just goes away. It's not in your way. When you need the device, it's there, just in time. You want to get something done, just open it, and it feels great. The spec we created was around sound. We iterated over and over again in our anechoic chamber. This is a critical point. We really wanted to get the sound right, so you get that visceral feeling, that emotional attachment to your product when you open this kickstand and close it. It makes it yours. It goes away when you don't need it, and it's there when you do. I really want to walk you through touch cover for just a few moments. This is an important technology that came out of our group. I'm going to walk you through it in two ways. The first way is through the experience, and the second way I'm going to talk about is the technology. Let's do the experience first. Let me explain to you what we try to do with touch cover from the get-go. You'll notice I'm going to connect it now to my blue touch cover. So I just click it in as you would expect. The surface turns blue along with my touch cover, and you have a beautiful integration of hardware and software. My surface knows what is connected to it. I can now bring to life the vision that is touch cover for this product. The vision that lets you produce content when you want it, how you want it, as fast as you've always done it. That's what this product was designed for. Let me give you one more second on this, on a little bit of the experience. The thing that was so critical for us in creating touch cover was that it had to be three millimeters thin. This essentially is at odds of any other keyboard you've used and still have a great typing experience. It also had to be a cover you wanted to connect, something you always had with you, something that gave you confidence, just like the kickstand, to bring this product to life. We've designed a flux fountain of magnets in this product. That's a combination of alignment and clamping magnets. You could actually never miss connecting this device. You can't miss. We force you to not miss. We do that to give you confidence. You close it, it feels like a book. We designed this organically like a book. We wanted it to feel just like that. What has more covers on it than books themselves? This spine feels like a book. When you put it in your hand and you walk away with your product, you'll hold it like a book. When you carry it against your books, it'll feel like it's another book. It's just light enough and it feels just perfect. Now. That said, I think you're going to fall in love with touch cover. I know I have. I mean, I am seriously in love with it. Outside of my wife, touch cover is number two. It's very important to me. That was a moment for our team, for sure. I do want to talk a little bit about some availability and pricing information and things like that that I know, that I know people want to know. Surface for Windows RT, oh, and I still say there will be much more information available on the web and um, available shortly. So Surface for Windows RT will be available in both a 32 and a 64 gigabyte model and will be priced like comparable tablets that are based on ARM. Surface for Windows 8 Professional will come in 64 gigabyte and 128 gigabyte storage models and will have a retail price comparable with competitive Ultrabook class PCs. Surface will be available through the Microsoft's physical stores here in the US and will be available through, select online, through the select online outlets of the Microsoft Store as well. So welcome everybody to Surface. I want to thank Stephen and Mike and Panos uh, and their team. Uh, this has been an unbelievable uh, journey. We've invested significantly, uh, as you can see, in talent, in time, in capital, to bring the Surface to market. I was asked in the, the last few days here, why now? Why now? We took the time to really get Surface and Windows 8 right, to do something that was really different and really special. We're very proud, very, very proud of the Surface, just like we're very proud of Windows 8. Because of Windows 8, because of Windows 8, the Surface is a PC. The Surface is a tablet. 
And the surface is something new that we think people will absolutely love. We really want those of you here to have a chance to see and touch the surface and talk with some of the people who are involved in designing the product. We have several stations set up next door where you can see the work that went into the creation of the surface. And uh, we hope you'll, you'll stay and join us for that. Uh, today has been uh, fun for us to put on for you. Very, very exciting. And I want to thank you all for being part of today's event. Thanks.